my name is Emily and I'm a student at Mates. I'm involved with the outreach branch of Project Terrapin. Project Terrapin focuses on the conservation of northern diamondback terrapins in New Jersey. Today, I'm going to be going through the steps to create a fun turtle craft with materials that you can find around your house. Here's what our finished product is going to look like. Hopefully, this video helps you get in the spirit for our virtual hatchling release, which is scheduled to occur in late June. Okay, let's get started. This craft can be done with many variations with the materials that are available to you at home. The materials needed are paper plates, glue, scissors, and construction paper. Examples of other materials that can be used are staplers, tape, tissue paper, markers, googly eyes, buttons, and gems. You can pause the video now to gather your materials. The first step of this craft is going to be creating the head, feet, and tail for the turtle. Terrapins actually have webbed feet which makes them very strong swimmers. This step of the craft requires drawing a circle four feet of any kind and a triangle shape on a piece of construction paper. Green or brown construction paper would be the most accurate, but any color works. Here is the example of what my shapes look like for my turtle craft. Once you finish with that, begin to cut out all of your pieces. Now that you have your pieces cut out, we're going to attach them to our paper plate. You can either glue, tape, or staple them onto the underside of the paper plate. This is the underside of the paper plate. I'm going to use tape in this video, but you should use whatever is the most convenient for you. Okay, now I'm gluing the head onto the underside of the plate. Okay, now I'm gonna do the feet. You should put two at the top and then two at the bottom. And lastly, put your tail on. Okay, this is what my turtle looks like at the end of step one. The second step of this craft is going to be decorating the shell of the terrapin, which is also known as the carapace. Terrapins have scoots on their carapace which actually shed naturally. This step of the craft requires some creativity. It's time to design the shell. You can cut out squares of tissue paper, like in the example, or you can use construction paper and cut out whatever shapes you would like. Once you cut everything out, you should start to glue it onto the back of the plate, this side of the plate this time, wherever you would like. You can also add buttons, sparkles, gem, string, or anything else you might have. I'm going to start to design my shell. So first I'm going to put a, a few pieces of tissue paper. And I'm going to use glue to attach it. Okay, now maybe a piece of construction paper to go with it. Now I think I'm going to add a flower gem and a button. So you should continue to do this until your entire back side of the plate is covered. This is what my turtle looks like at the end of step two. Okay, 
The third and final step of this craft includes completing your turtle's head, legs, and tail. A fun fact is that turtles have a very strong sense of smell and sight, but they have a very bad sense of hearing. Now, if you have googly eyes at your house, you can add those on, similar to those in the example, or you can just draw them on with a marker. You can also add a smile or designs to any of the parts of the body. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I'm going to glue, you're going to glue the googly eyes on closer to the paper plate side of the head. Okay, you add some glue. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a nice big smile on my turtle. Okay, here's what it looks like at the end of step three. Thanks for taking the time to do this turtle craft with me today and learn more information about terrapins. As you can see, these turtle crafts can look real or they can just be fun and creative. I had a great time making this craft and I hope all of you did too. If you made this craft, you can add pictures to the comments on the Mates Project Terrapin Facebook page so we can see all of your hard work and creativity. Be on the lookout for more information about our virtual hatchling release coming soon. Bye everyone!